Hogwarts Legacy on PC has been plagued with frame rate issues. And I think I have finally found a solution, hopefully only temporary, to our problems. Pseudo solution for the problems for the frame rate issue seems to be tied to your monitor, which is a very strange detail that a lot of people seem to be over looking now when you get into the settings of the game which i'm going to show you here it, it's tied mostly to the way you're playing your game on the monitor system that you have i have a unique situation where i am running three monitors here and if i was to switch this to a different monitor it would probably run just fine one of my monitors is actually a 4k monitor but it only has a 60 uh re refresh rate with it so it's not the greatest it's not a high-end model or anything like that but it runs things at 4k and that seems to be one of the issues and with playing around with some settings i have come up with my optimal settings these aren't going to work for everyone i am running an rtx 3070 ti nvidia graphics card on my system everything is going to be subjective to what you do but this fix may help everyone in the long run that is playing on pc it's not a hundred percent a fix but it helps drastically with just navigating the game well, you can see my resolution here is 3840 by 2160 this is pretty much 4k and that is because of my monitor my monitor is at 4k i am using the uh, nvidia dlss you could attempt to turn this off uh, but i found there was no real difference to it going to the quality over performance was better for me in particular and the frame rate you know what we're going to drop this down to 60 we're going to cap it at 60. Uh, it's just going to give you a much better overall. I am not running this in with shaders or the RTX on just because there is so much more that becomes <laughs> difficult with the with trying to run this, especially when mm. I'm trying to stream this game. You could set this to your recommended, huh. but I suggest trying to go through and figure out what settings you can and cannot do. One of your main ones is dropping your population from high to medium front. How many characters or sprites are going to spawn in the game? You're going to have a much better time overall if there's less sprites. Dropping from medium to low doesn't seem to do too terribly much. It's And you still want that little bit of population there. It gives that liveliness in the background. So that's probably going to be your biggest one out of them all. Everything else, you can drop your squat and sky quality down. You can drop the fog quality down. You can drop a few of these other things down but ultimately where i have mine you can see in front of you if you want to pause the video and copy what i have here texture quality i put this to ultra it doesn't seem to do a huge influx from low to onto ultra that's why i've kept that there we're gonna load the game and i'm gonna show you guys running around here what it looks like here we are loaded into the game i loaded here into a sort of background area now i am going to hit windows g and that's going to open up my game bar for some reason this won't record and this and then i'm going to pin the performance to my screen so i can actually see what my frame rate is right now my frame rate is 57 right running around here we're we're probably going to get a little bit of lagginess a little bit of drops here i'm at 49 now as they lift the child in the air with the hat let's hop inside here and just reload kind of load the area every time you're loading into one of these bigger doors it's reloading the area and now i'm down to 38 39 41 43 reload this area and it's going to drop down even more 34 30 28 30 38 and now once the area starts to load it seems to come try and creep back up but as i run around here my frame rate's dropping drastically overall it does go down i am running okay ultimately right now there's not a lot going on i'm just running around here and like 44 40 38 40 if i hop onto my broom here this might show us a little bit more right 51 oh it's not terrible right now this is at 4k but i want you know what i want to do better i want to run this at at least 60 especially for streaming purposes 
So I'm going to show you how to change these settings a little bit in that sense. Let's hop down here on the ground. Uh, but in order to do that, you have to leave the game. There, You can see there was another frame rate drop there. Just standing here right now kind of goes up and down. Like I'm running this at 40. It's not running great. It's not capturing very well. You can see it's not doing too well. Going into the menu there, it's, it, it, yeah, it's not doing very well. So we're going to leave the game. Now, I am back on my desktop. The game left pretty quick. It's still looking, looking. It still takes a while for the game to stop for some reason. What you want to do is you actually want to go into your NVIDIA control panel on your monitor. And you, what I've been doing is, this was a suggestion I had in my comment section on this. Uh, I'm actually dropping my monitor down to a 1080, which is surprising to have to do this. So it changes the resolution. You're gonna see everything just kind of get bonkers here for a second. You can see my screen has really shrunk there uh, because I was capturing it at 4K. Now I'm capturing it at 1080, still as a 4K overall. So we're gonna stretch that out. We're gonna get the recapture here. Now, if I go back into the game, you can see this has changed a little bit too. I'm going to reload it. And once I'm back into the game, I will come back. Uh, we're gonna load into the game. Once I'm into the game, I'll show you my settings again. The, now this is going to show quite a difference I am finding with the game. So once again, here we go with the settings. And you'll be able to see, I am now down to 1080 on the resolution. And this makes a big difference. It, it, it drops it down drastically, but for some reason, this is where I needed to do my fix. Now, if I go into the game, my capture is a lot more smoother. I can see things again. This is the I same courtyard fun. we're seeing this. Now, this doesn't fix it 100%. Uh, for some reason, my my game bar doesn't want to capture again. This is the problem with game bar, is it, is it just does not, there we go. Now I'm capturing it at 60 frames per second. And to me, the game still looks very well. We can get up here. I'm still at 60 frames per second here at the whole game. Now I do find there is a little bit of frame rate drop if you go into like a cutscene or a brand new area, but it loads a lot quicker. It does a lot more with the game and is able to actually play the game without issues. Like this is this is the major, major flaw that I'm finding with this. They need some sort of performance update. They need a patch to fix this, this resolution or allow you in game to drop it down and not have to drop your monitor for capturing purposes it's very strange in a sense but that's that's my fix and you can see there's a world of difference just running around here a world of difference ultimately with the game like, i'm playing better i don't feel laggy i'm solid 60 frames per second um, I could tweak things and put it up a little bit more, but I'm keeping my settings where I am. And that's the simple fix. You just go into the NVIDIA uh, control panel and drop the resolution of your monitor to fix that. And it seems to fix the game very well. It, it, it's very strange in that sense. But you know what? If that's what works, if that's what I got to do to play this game, then that's what I'm doing, especially for video capture if you're streaming like me, where I'm playing the game over and over again and playing a lot of it. I, I, I streamed yesterday for six hours and I had a ton of more fun doing it this way. There is the odd frame rate drop, like I said, and that's mostly with cutscenes or something else going on in the background where there's a lot of textures having to load. But once they loaded, once things loaded, those, those frame rate drops went away. Like right now, because I, I entered a new area, I'm down to 40 frames per second here. But hey, running around it a little me, bit here, Gareth. it will Do you have a moment? come back. Like I'm back up to 55. So it, and I don't know if you really see too much. Ah, you see a little bit there. You see a little bit of the bleed there ultimately. But this is capture and play and gameplay is two different things. The capture is one thing, but I don't see the gameplay problems that I was seeing. And there it is. We're now back to full. So it does 
do that little bit of a drop, but it does come right back. It, it just takes a little bit, and I'm back up to a solid 60 now once things have loaded again. Now, like I said, this isn't the ideal fix. This isn't a, a catch-all fix. I'm hoping they patch this game uh, ultimately to fix everything that we're seeing here. But this has been what I've been able to do to be able to stream to you guys. Uh, having to drop the resolution on my monitor is a new one on me. Usually, especially when it's a high-end graphics card, it, it shouldn't have to go to that rate to configure something. So one of the other things that I should note here is you want to play this game in full screen. You don't want to play this in windowed. Your frame rate issues just seem to continue in the windowed mode. The, the full screen seems to adjust a lot more differently with that. There is also other mods that are coming out if you are a person that knows Nexus mods or Vortex, they are starting to come out with unofficial patches for this. I have tested them myself. I didn't find there was anything drastically different with it, but people are trying to do this as a third party to try and fix this as well. If you have a actual fix to this game, please drop your comments down below because I, I would love nothing more but to play this game and stream this game at a solid 60 frames per second without the frame rate drops at all. But like I said, it seems that when you load a new area, it just takes a little bit to load the new area. Maybe they've got to actually institute a loading screen in between these areas, which I think would take away from the gameplay. You, you, you don't lose a ton. Also in the second version of that, when I'm playing the game in front of me there is a big difference to me to what i can capture being limited by obs uh the the game capture that i'm seeing or the game that i'm playing in front of me is smooth i i don't see the drops in it where with obs it was kind of fluctuating with the with the recording version of it but that has been the ongoing issue that I've seen between the two. Maybe there's a, a Steam Labs slash OBS update that will come out, which will help fix that in the long run, but that is something else that I do deal with. Anyway, I've been your proud Canadian Phoenix. I hope this helped you guys a little bit. Those that are trying to get your optimized settings, uh, things are still working out day by day for this game. So hopefully sometime very soon, we see the vast improvement in the frame rate issues that we see with this game. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you all again.